Hi, I was once again reminded today that recording videos can be tough. You know, it's kind of like that fish sitting on your on your measuring board, real nice and pretty, just so you can take a picture of it. It doesn't always work. So what I would like to do today is give you an update on where I'm at with my Hobie Lynx and the fishing setup. After two seasons of fishing with it, and now I've gotten, gone into my third, I think I've come across something that was important. And one of those things was the Hobie Lynx is a lightweight machine. And so I wanted to keep it a little bit lighter weight. And at the same time, I want to be able to upgrade if I want to and go a little heavy because I really liked it for the way it moves around on the lake. So I recorded a video today um, to uh, let you see what that is. So to start my new video, hi, my name is Ken Cerny. I am doing a video on the Hobie Lynx and fishing as of it is, as it is now in 2023. So here's the rest of the video, which did record very nicely today. So here's my, my Hobie Lynx. It's uh, with, with the upgrades and the changes. And, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a couple of different options that I have on here. I'm going to walk through this fairly quickly. And again, I'll show you um, more here in a little bit. So it starts with my tackle system. I just have the Craftsman Toolkit. Um, this is the uh, Versa Stack system. Um, these are hard to find, but they're great for holding all your quick need to get to tackle. And when they're locked, it's all waterproof. So waterproof, this is waterproof. I attached a couple of rod holders on here so that I got some, some aft pointing rod holders. Um, Louisiana Custom Kayak uh, plate for the uh, where the power pole goes. Um, you can buy the plate which comes with the um, little uh, adapter there, track adapter, and then the rail blazer track adapter with the um, flag and the light on the top for the, from the rail blazer. Um, I use a lot of rail blazer but I got Scotty, I got Hobie parts and all that. Um, these are just the the bungees that come with it. A couple of uh, Attachments, uh, look, little hooks from um, a, a closet organizer that I used. Um, screwed those in there, put the bolts on there. Um, I just leave this in between here. Because I got the H rails on here, my catch board fits right in between and it doesn't slide off anywhere. I do have the uh, flotation inside it, so if I do lose it, it'll float. But otherwise, it sits right there. I kind of like that. It's I don't use this for any place, anything else at the moment. Um, I have extra soft baits up here and I have the uh, 12 amp hour battery for the um, in the back here also that's for the uh, for the helix 5 hummingbird um, this is a uh, obviously a, a hobie part for because I have the H rail on here the only problem with this is as I bring fish over the top of here water gets inside here there's no drainage I don't want drainage because this does get pretty close to the water um, and so uh, I have to drain that every day, make sure that there's no water sitting in there. Rail blazer part, real nice. Um, you got the um, little rail blazer attachment for the track. Um, it fits in there real nice. Um, this here obviously is a Scotty. This happens to be the one button Scotty mount release, one button release Scotty mount. Works real nice, locks into place, comes up with one push button, which is on this side, right there is a push button. Um, that's something that's just come out the last couple of years. I use this mainly for putting the rod in there after I've caught the fish and I'm working with the fish, I can get the rod out of my way, but it's also good for trolling. Um, this uh, comes from, I believe, um, Navarre, um, kayak fishing. Um, and basically this simply goes where the front two. So these are the mounts on the on the uh, Hobie um, for the H bar. So for stand up H bar, um, that's, that works out well. What they've done is they created an adapter for that. It mounts into there and then this attaches to the top of there. So you can use this for many things. I use this for just for simply holding my, um, my net. Um, this is the rubberized net, which is good because I do hook it a lot um, as I'm trying to bring fish in. Um, for the drive, the Mirage drive, obviously I have my 
uh, my leash on it, but it also has the Navarre T-bar here, and that really works nice for bringing it in and out of the out of the water. Um, it also works well when I tip it on its side in order to put the wheels underneath it. Um, I have a set of Ascend wheels. They don't really work well with the with the rubber bungees. Um, so I just tip it on its side, put the wheels underneath it, and it works really well that way. Um, just got to be careful what you're doing it on. Uh, the lakes I fish tend to have grass, so it's not a big deal for scratching. Um, I can bring it out and roll it on its side. Those stay put. I take it out if I'm when I'm driving. I don't I don't put keep that in there on the road. Coming around the side here, these are Yak Gadget. Um, this is a Yak Gadget mount. Um, holds two rods and the uh, your paddle. It holds it out away from where you're doing where you're where you're working, so it gets it away from everything else. Um, that does mount in the H rail a track. I used to, before I got the H-Rail, I actually used those in the track here, and it worked really well here also. So it does have enough room for both of those on there, and it works nicely. It's right there, um, and you can mount it on there. Um, and I got another picture I'll show you. I'll put it on the video of uh, the way I had that. Um, it also, um, Yak Gadget also has a, has a, has a measuring board holder. And I had the combination just in that one, the regular rail. So if you don't have the H, H rails, that's fine. This works just great uh, for this setup with a um, measuring board case. Um, Louisiana Custom Kayak backboard. I had the Rapala uh, already from the from another setup I have, so I have that on here instead of anything else. Um, this is a Navarre tool for holding a rod holder. That works really nice. Um, using the, um, the the Hobie attachment for my hummingbird, um, Hobie to the um, to the ball mount, uh, and that works out well. That comes back here. The extra extra cable just attach it. I just got it bungeed down in here. You can see that bungeed down here to the handle. Comes back in here and goes back to the uh, battery. I do have the Hummingbird uh, transducer mounted underneath. I had to make a wooden adapter for that, yeah, but it works really well down underneath. Um, coming to the back, obviously I'm now back here and everything is pretty much what I was talking about. Here's that other that other uh, gr uh, closet organizer hook and it just bungees on there. This is actually strong enough when I do flip it on its side this stays put. Now the other thing that you want to do is if you have something like this, either get the marine mat or something similar, or I had a pad that I put underneath there before, um, way before I got the marine mat on there. But the marine mat is really nice all along for uh, damage control. Um, not sure if it makes it quieter or not, but that's an idea that it does. So there's my setup. So one last thing I would like to uh, add to this. Uh, discussion is uh, flexibility with the drive. So as you can see, this is the Mirage drive that comes with the uh, that comes with the links. So if I were to take that out, I can replace it with one of the older drives that I already have for my uh, my tandem PA. That drops right into the same place. So this one does not have the kick-up fins, but it does have the um, it does have the turbos. So this has the SC turbos. They drop into place. Now this I do use from time to time in here because it just simply adds a little bit more speed, especially if I'm on a larger lake. I know I'm not going to run into rocks. I do fish a lot around rocks, so I like using the kick-up fins. But um, if I'm not going to be around rocks, this works really well. It gives me a little bit more speed. It does require a little bit more, uh, a little bit more leg pressure, leg power. Um, but if you want a little bit more speed, you can actually flick it, flip it out, put in a different drive, the turbo drive, and I don't need to have turbo kick-up fins. Now, if you do have turbo kick-up fins, that's great. If you don't, 
You don't need them. So there you have it. My new setup right there. You know, and it's uh, kind of one of those nice things that if you um, get it set up just right, you may be able to get some of these bad boys in your in there and get them measured on there. Um, this was one of my best small mouths on, on this particular kayak so far. So uh, go out there, have some fun, catch some fish, and enjoy your day. Hope this helped. Bye.